Welcome back for quick tip number two. And in this quick tip, I want to talk about winter seasonal patterns of the largemouth bass. Let's go. Bass are cold blooded, meaning that they are, their metabolism and their energy levels are engineered or developed around their surroundings. So if the water is gonna be colder, that means their activity level is gonna be a lot less, meaning their metabolism, they're not gonna eat as much. So during winter time, make sure you slow your presentations down. Tip number one I can give you is don't fish shallow water. Yeah, typically every once in a while a bass will come up if it's a little bit warmer part of the day into that shallow water to feed, but they go right back to that deeper water. So I do not fish shallow water unless a warm foot, unless a warm front has come through. Tip number two is target deep water. What do I look for in deep water? I am looking for not, not a vertical drop off, but I'm looking for a very steep sloping drop off to that deep water. Say my right hand right here is 10 foot deep. And then right here, my left hand is right around 40, 30 to 40 feet. And there's a nice steep vertical drop off right there. So that means that the bass, if they have to come up shallower, they don't have to spend as much energy to come up to that little bit shallower water to get some food. When I'm fishing deep water, what do I look for? Number one, brush. Next is rock. Very hard bottom areas is man-made, meaning anything that's really man-made in deep water. Also, another good productive area is bridge pilings. Now, bridge pilings, I will tend to fish, have to be in right around 15 to 30 to 40 foot of water. And I'll fish each piling very thoroughly with a bait. Now let's talk about small ponds, small pond fishing. If I've never fished a small pond before, I will locate the deepest water possible. Nowadays, with deeper, you've got your eye bobber, or you can just use a classical jig on a rod to try and find the deepest area. Now locate the deepest water, and then the bass will tend to hang around there till the winter, so they can winter over in that area. So my next tip is fish the warmest part of the day. Let's say it's, if it's very sunny outside, fish one to four. One to five is what I'll fish throughout that whole day. Fish the warmest part of the day. The water's gonna warm up even a degree or two. The bass just will be that much more active and ready to feed if they see your bait. Well, that concludes this quick tip video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about what winter bass patterns. Now I'm getting ready to start my preparation for my Lake Hartwell trip. Now it's gonna be wintertime bass fishing up there. So I'm gonna try and locate all these structures. And then also at Lake Hartwell, uh, I'm going to make some more winter tactic videos on how to fish certain baits. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the water.